Okay, fine. We'll admit it. We're not the best at meal planning. We're actually the absolute worst we're at meal prep. Oh God. But we're gonna try to change that today. We are gonna be planners. We are gonna know what we're gonna make for dinner, breakfast, lunch this week. And we're gonna prepare it now so that during the week, when we're like, what are we gonna eat? We will have something to go to instead of going to junk food or fast food or something mm -hmm. unhealthy. Yeah. That's the goal. Yep, trying so, to derail a bad habit here. We're gonna start off easy. We're only gonna prepare one breakfast, one lunch, one dinner, but like food that we can eat throughout the week, not just like one meal, but like yeah. batches mm -hmm. of it that we can put in the fridge or the freezer and then take out during the week when we're in the time pinch or we don't know what to eat. So let's go to the store and gather the ingredients. We're back from the store now, and it's time to get cooking, everybody. You know what that means. It's time to break out the aprons. So I think we're gonna kinda have to go out of order for the meals here, because some of them require a longer time period. Like, for example, our lunch today needs to marinate. So that's what we're gonna start off first. It takes two hours to marinate, so while that's happening, we can work on the other meals. So we might be going back and forth. Yeah, we're gonna start off with lunch. And I will link all these recipes in the description box in case you want to follow along as well. But here are our meal prep ideas. So these are all from the website delish.com. We're gonna be making egg muffins for breakfast. I've never tried an egg muffin before, but I've been really into eggs recently, so I'm True. excited about that. For lunch, we're gonna be trying a copycat chipotle chicken bowl. Mm -hmm. And then for dinner is chicken stir fry. So. A lot of chicken. Lots of chicken, we love chicken. Let's start marinating our chicken for the chipotle bowl. All right, so we're gonna make the marinade for the thing. So we got our handy dandy food processor, AKA blender, so we're just gonna and pop that off and set this here. So we're gonna start with chopping half of a red onion. Why'd you open the garlic already? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Wait, I need to ask Siri. That garlic smells potent. I need to ask her how many cloves of garlic is equal to minced It says garlic. on the, the thing. Oh, it does? On the lid. I'm not gonna turn it upside down because there's goop on the inside, but it's one, one teaspoon is one clove of garlic. Oh my gosh, that's genius. Okay. Yeah. So Make sure to be careful with kitchen utensils like this one, kids. Okay, so can we? Can I just add everything to here? Yep. All right, two that tablespoons of, of garlic. We also really like to cook together. We were better at that when we first got married. Now we're just like, one of us makes it for the other person. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's mostly you because I don't really, I just don't really want to think about cooking. So I feel like I do most of the cleaning and you do most of the cooking. Yeah. We right. have an onion dicer machine. Oh, <gasps> you can get it out. I forgot you got that. All right, I'm adding a teaspoon of oregano. All right, we're gonna add everything to this blender yeah. and we'll come back when we start oh. blending. Spencer is the new fan girl of our, oh, is it yeah. bad? That doesn't oh, look bad. I don't know, I can't tell. These are kind of <laughs> old limes. Yeah, we're, we were gonna see if they're good We're gonna enough. juice it and just see if it like tastes okay. I mean, it might be a little stale, but I don't think it's like rancid, right? I don't know. Okay. Spencer loves this machine that I bought for a video. He's been obsessed. This makes me happy. Like every time he uses, he's like. <laughs> time to blend it. Uh, take this over here to our fancy, man, man, fancy, fancy, handy dandy blender. It's smoothie chop dough spreader bowl. I guess. Always spread. Oh, okay. Because aren't we making it as a marinade? Yeah. So this recipe calls for a pound of chicken, and we currently have almost five pounds of chicken here, but we're gonna be extra precise today, and Spencer brought out his scale that he normally uses for like trading parts stuff, like packaging. So yeah, we're gonna measure out a pound of chicken on his digital scale. And he's gonna touch it because I hate touching chicken, well, meats in general, but especially chicken. That's a pound and three ounces. That's pretty That's close. fine, that's close. Okay, so we'll use that much. So we need to put it in a bag with our paste. Time to put a chicken in the marinade. Why am I flossing? 
yucky. I just proposed a question to Spencer. I said, how come chicken does not have any like blood in it? Because like beef does. And since it was like, beef doesn't have it's blood. It's not blood. It's red meat juice. I, Okay. it's so not red meat it's juice. It's not actually blood because it, is. it has the same color as blood, but it's not blood because it's missing like one of the chemical components that would make it blood. How many times can you say that word? <laughs> Plenty. My analogy is like when you pull chicken out of the thing, chicken does have juices. It's just like clear. Yeah, it's right? the raw chicken juice. The, those raw chicken juices are Salmonella. essentially the same thing as the red meat juice that we call, you know, we call red meat juice the not blood. <laughs> because like they drain the blood. It's wrong. If it's you Google wrong. it, it says it's not blood. I can't, I, oh, I can't, okay. I hope this is not super spicy because we did have the chipotle pepper in here. Okay, you ready to mix it? I love aprons because I can finally like wipe my hands on my clothes and I won't feel bad about it because that's the whole point of the apron. Goopy marinade. <laughs> goopy goopy. Did you even hear me? No. <laughs> All right, dinner time. Wow, I love how coordinated you are matching the cutting board to the pepper. Yeah. That was orange, such a good move. Orange cutting boards are for orange bell peppers. Yeah, we do this every time. Um, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the way you start a bell pepper is like to cut out center bit. So for this recipe, it calls for broccoli and I've already used our broccoli for other recipes, but I do have cauliflower and I was gonna substitute with that, but do you see these like spots on the cauliflower? Is that just dirt or is it like going bad? Like, is that mold? What does bad cauliflower look like? It still smells like normal cauliflower. I hope this is still good. Otherwise, I don't know what to substitute it with. Cause I'm not running to the grocery store again. Oh, I just looked it up and this picture is of cauliflower that should not be consumed. It has like brown spots on it and mine has a bunch of like brown spots on it. I feel like you can't really tell that well on camera. But like, oh, I don't really risk it when it comes to mold because I don't want to get sick. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll have to substitute it with a different vegetable. I'm gonna go look in my fridge and see what we have. All right, we had asparagus and we have Carrots, and I feel like carrots probably fit in this situation better. It's not gonna be as colorful because we're using literally orange pepper and orange carrots. So it's gonna be like a um, one color meal, but we love a good monochromatic meal. It's fine. So that's what we're gonna do because I'm not risking it for the biscuit. But if you guys know if my cauliflower is bad or not, let me know so I know we're in the future. All right, we've just finished the prep work for dinner. We chopped up our very colorful palette over here the chicken as well. Now it's time to start the sauce. So I'm gonna be adding in half a cup of soy sauce. Is this really how fast it pours? Yeah. Because no one ever uses this much. Because the bottle's designed for you to be able to pour soy sauce like right Directly on you're using it. Directly on your using food. It, so they want to make sure you don't accidentally pour way too much. Because it's very easy to use too much. Yeah, because it's very salty. Wow, it's like half our bottle gone. <laughs> All right, two tablespoons of honey. Okay, and then we also need two teaspoons of sesame oil. We never use our sesame oil, so this is good that we can finally break into it more. Yeesh. Why is this so hard? This takes a lot of finger muscle. I don't have finger <laughs> muscles. Oh, that's a stiff bottle. Yeah, I know. You have to do two of those, by the way. I know. Things are going swell over here. Why do you how's, ask? How's the whiskey going? It's going so swell. It's going so swell. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be delicious tonight. Don't you worry. <laughs> Yum. If I was like a McMillian billionaire, my first thing would be to hire a personal chef. That would be yeah. amazing. Because like, tell me what am I doing wrong, please. <laughs> Patience. You just have to wait until the... But it like works in with the other liquid to thin it up. The smells here are crazy, by the way. So much going on. Time to start cooking our vegetables. So we're gonna add that into the pan. Mix it a little bit, that's okay. Let that start cooking, then we'll add in the chicken. I'm already feeling so healthy. Look, I'm actually incorporating vegetables into my diet. What a win. <laughs> Good job. It's a pound. Whoa. Calls for a pound of chicken. That's a pound. Cooking ASMR. We're not sure if the chicken's cooked through, so Spencer's gonna try it. Oh, it's good. 
Yeah. Yay! I don't know, flavorless because we haven't added the seasoning. We're going to do it right now though. We're going to add in my cashews, pepper, and the sauce. Disclaimer, I was like 99% sure this was cooked through. If you're actually not sure it's cooked through, cut it open with a knife. Don't bite Don't it. Bite it. I've, I've cooked chicken enough that I knew that was cooked through before I bit it. I just thought it'd be funny. Yum. I this wish I could smell it. So, it smells good. I bet it does. I'm getting over a cold, so I'm a little stuffy still. And you might hear this, or maybe you have heard it in a bunch of videos because we have to pre-film a lot. So Spencer, it's gonna sound like he's been sick for a month, but he's only been sick for like a week. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Arj. It's time for breakfast. So yeah, we just finished our, wait, was this lunch or dinner? Dinner? It was dinner. <laughs> we just finished our dinner dish. So now we're gonna start on our breakfast, which is egg muffins. I think we said that already. Yeah. Right? So this should be interesting. It's, it's what it sounds like. It's a muffin, but it's made out of egg. So it just has a bunch of like, has like some onions and peppers and some spinach in it, just some veggies. Which we've been making a lot of like omelets for breakfast. So this is very- It's basically an omelet in like a muffin form. Yeah. Takes like half an hour to bake when we're done. Not bad. So. Yeah, you excited for this one? Yeah, so I'm getting out the spinach right now. We have, Spencer just chopped up the other bell pepper that we had, and we already had some pre-chopped onion, so that's nice. Yeah. I'm picking out the baby spinach. Also, these are like very wilting and going yeah. bad, so yeah, we need to use up the rest of these. Meal number one is all done, and it looks so yummy. I'm gonna stick it in a container and put it in the fridge, and you're maybe like, why aren't you guys eating this right now? Because we filmed we filmed a different video today where we had to try a bunch of fast food menu items. I don't know if that video is out or it's gonna go out soon, either way. Um, so we're pretty full on that. <laughs> so this will be our dinner tomorrow and the next day and however long we need. So I'm just gonna put it in here, but it already looks so good. I don't doubt that it tastes delicious. And now we're working on breakfast, so we're cooking up the bacon, and I'm just gonna make all the bacon, even though it costs for only three strips, because we'll just eat the bacon on the side. So, we'll reheat it later. Are you kidding me? We have just this much milk left. You didn't drink it. This is for you guys. For all the people that think drinking milk straight, like her, is gross. To all the people that think it's gross, this is for you. Nasty. Delicious. I'm glad you like it. Here's my little egg mixture. All right, so I just finished cooking the veggies for the egg muffins. This is the egg, you can't really see the egg mixture without me accidentally spilling it. And so I just finished the veggies. So it's gonna go into the egg mixture. Hopefully that's not too much. Oh, I'm blocking everything. <laughs> I'm really good at this, as you can tell, so. Is it Honestly, okay? this is the best kind of bacon where it's like almost just completely burnt, in my opinion. No. I like crunchy bacon. The recipe only calls for like a few strips of bacon, so if I crumble this into little bacon bits. Oh, that crumbles way easily. Yeah, when you want to make bacon bits, cooking your bacon like this is probably the way to go. Preferred. So he's going to mix all that together, and then do you pour it into the tins? Yeah. Perfect! All right, the egg mixture is done, and we're gonna pour it into the tin. Or at least I'm gonna try to, because this bowl doesn't <laughs> have a spout. Oh no. Uh, how much, like, do you think, it's probably not like all the way full, right? Uh, does it say? It just says pour mixture into prepared muffin pegs. How many does it make? Like a full I don't know. dozen? It says it yields 12, so. Okay, a dozen. So much uh, better. Oh, oh! Oh no. I think it's supposed to be like half. Oh no, it's gonna overflow. I'm gonna spoon, I'm gonna have to spoon it into yeah. like a, a different cup. Some of them are chunkier than others. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely gonna have to take a spoon and, and like rearrange them. the distribution. This one looks like it could probably have some more in it. Yeah, it's okay. not, it's not the most even. So, um, let's see, <laughs> we're gonna take. <laughs> All right, now it's supposed to go in the oven for about half an hour to 35 minutes. So we're gonna stick this in here and hopefully this works the way it's supposed to. 
Yeah, we just got some good bacon ASMR going. So our Alexa timer went off, and Audrey thought that was for the, the egg muffins, but the Alexa timer was actually for our chicken marinating. Which means it's been two hours. In the fridge. So yeah, it's been a whole two hours. So this is all marinated and ready to go. But the egg muffins, coincidentally, are also going to be done in 38 seconds. Honestly, so, you could let the chicken marinate for longer. It's just a yeah. minimum of two hours, but the it's already like, better, is it 8 p.m.? It's yeah, like it's already 8. 8 at night, and we just want to wrap this up. We gotta be done, man. We just want to wrap this so. up. We want to play some Wizard 101 before bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's a tradition for us. The chef's got to have some downtime. Kind of the nightly thing to do. You know it. Okay, so oh, man, let's put the chicken chicken aside. Grab your oven mitts. We'll see how these eggs look. Here we go. Ooh. I always put my face down in the oven too fast. Is it, are they cooked? get blasted. Through? I think so. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> yeah. They look pretty soft, but I assume that when we let them like they cool look good. off. All right, well, let's get the chicken prepared and start cooking that. This should be pretty simple from here. Okay, we're gonna toss it in. Pretty much almost done. Once this is cooked, we're done. So. Woo! So this is the chicken Ooh. chipotle dupe bowl. <laughs> And we're just gonna pre make the chicken because, like, throwing everything else in will be pretty easy for when you wanna eat it. So, you just need to heat up some rice. We have a rice cooker, so that's not that bad. You can add in black beans, corn, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, any toppings that you want, which we have as well. But again, like, you don't really need to meal prep those things because they're so simple. You just take it out of the can, take it out of the fridge, put it as topping. So, the only meal prep we really need to do for this recipe is the chicken. So, we're just gonna wait for this bad boy to cook. Ooh, it looks so seasoned. I just hope it's not super spicy because of the chipotle and adobe sauce. Yeah. Or the, not chipotle, the yeah. chipotle, pepper. chipotle pepper. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have removed it from the marinade because by the time the chicken finished cooking, the marinade kind of like burnt black on the bottom of the pan. Uh-oh. But the black, like the burnt stuff isn't in the chicken itself. It just kind of stuck to the pan. But I think the chicken's done, so I'm putting it in a container, and that's it. Yay! We've successfully meal prepped. Woo! Go team! Go team! This poor pan. Washing it's going to be a nightmare. I'm sorry, pan. I did you dirty. Look, Odds. <gasps> Girl! Yeah, people at home that are more experienced cooks than us were probably like, No! You're supposed to take it off the marinade and just the chicken. Didn't think about that. So hopefully it's good still. Oh no. Okay, well, Audrey's doing dishes back here, but I'm about to try to pull these out of the pan and put them into a little baggie. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look, it's so cute. Let's see. Aww. That is definitely one solid chunk. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, I'll just kind of carefully put these in the bag and that's breakfast. Pretty much the whole thing. We've meal prepped breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So now when we don't know what to have, we have food to eat. So then we don't rationalize ordering pizza or something on like DoorDash or Uber Eats for the fifth time this month. Trying to change our habits. Trying to eat better. Girl, so. how do you expect me to clean this, Mama Juju? Uh, Are you kidding? I'll do it. I'll do it. It's my fault. I'll trade you. You can. You can it's still finish. Still very this. hot. I'll, I got it. I'm so excited about all this. This looks so good. Kitchen is clean. Aprons are off. Woo! We are finally wild. done. That took like what three? Three hours. Three hours. Two and a half. Three. Yeah, it took a hot minute, but it feels so nice to know that we have food ready to go for when we need it. Our kitchen is clean. I have the hiccups. Yep. And we get to know that we did another video for you guys. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you guys have any like good meal prep recipes, please send them our way. Please send them our way. We need we need as many as possible because I would like us to continue them. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, subscribe if you're new and like the video if you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.